Okay, game two of the day. A few different players now. Well, this could be decent. I really call my own wind. Home. Don't have much else, but it's always good. Getting a cheap hand to start off. I don't have much else going on in this hand already from the first initial hand. Initial um, tiles, I mean. So, just a cheap hand here, I would be pretty satisfied with. Home. Although now I have to watch out for here for it. He might have the same idea as me, but it's better for him since he also has the dealer. So cheap hand for him means he keeps the dealer for the next hand. Okay, let's get rid of this again. That's pretty good. Now I can incorporate some Dora. At least one Dora. And I also have a pair. So pretty much gonna become a calling machine at this point. I'm keeping the white honor tile. Just in case I get another one I can still get a bonus point from calling on that. Though it is risky to keep them for the longer the game goes on. The bigger chance of someone else being able to call on them as well. But until I get to call on something here or here, there's no point getting rid of it. But it's probably going to be my first discard. Simply because here I have two chances to call on something. Well, this only fits with uh, the other white owner tiles. Like that. Now the next tile to get rid of is probably one of either the 5 or 9. Depending on what tiles I can reel in. It's been 1, 6 and 1, 8. And there's the 8. Gee. Now I'll wait on the 2 or 5 of the reds. Don't. I'll take that. It pretty much went as well as it could have with my starting hand. It's good to win and someone tells you afterwards that they were building a monster hand. I can't use that. Not yet anyway. It's another awkward discard because I was planning on discarding the 1 but with the 2 draw. A 3 would also be decent but the 3 also fits with the 4 and 5 so it's not crucial to keep. Meaning this discard gets really awkward. Well, this is also another weird one, because this will make me able to collect more green tiles further up. Or even if I get a 3 and a 2. But it also still limits me to uh, Pinfu or something. That's the least amount of connectivity I can get with any of the other tiles, so that's the first one to go. I guess if I can get 1, 2, 3 in every suit, that's a bit optimistic. I don't think I'm gonna get that far. No, I don't think it's even worth going for. Because the chance of getting it is so low. And if I get the tree to connect here anyway. So I might keep the two, just because then I can wait for another tree and a six. But I was waiting for the tree with the one anyway. And this is I'll get rid of the two. My thought process here is, if I get a tree here, I have a pair and a sequence of 1, 2, 3. So that could still carry me to uh, Tempai. 
And that doesn't really connect with anything. Well, what? I guess I can rid of this, because now I have another pair here I can use. If I don't end up using the ones as a pair. Okay. Just because I'm so close to the Empire already, that now I can uh, reach E and get rid of the 1 or 4. And I have a good weight here as well. On the 3 6 of both of them, the blue and red. This is really uncomfortable to discard. Let's get rid of this first. <coughs> Leaves me some options for later. Uh, I hope that the 5 is not his winning tile, because that would be really bad for me. But switching on a system of news, considering the next two tiles to this 8 is 7 and 6, it's unlikely that 5 is his winning tile, especially considering how early it was thrown out. But it could still be with 3 and 4. Eat. So, here's hoping. And it goes through. Blue 3 or 6 is what we need right now. Oh, two more. That sucks. Get one of my winning tiles as well. But at least it doesn't hurt that much. Just one, uh, one point three k. That's a lot of red. So the question if do I want to keep this for to potentially pick up a daughter later? I can even get the daughter weight. Or do I just try to yolo all the reds? Let's start with yoling for the reds and let's see what happens. No. That wasn't a good one to call. This 8 is also a pretty bad pickup. No, that's a pretty good pickup, the red 4. And I have 3 6s as well, so this could turn out. If I pick up 2 more red tiles, maybe, this could be really, really good. Let's get rid of this. Actually, that was a mistake. I should get rid of the 1 because this is waiting on a 3 anyway. So that was a mistake. I might have cost myself some connectivity if I pick up a blue tree or five now. Let's keep the honor tile. Doesn't Eat. seem like too many reds are going out, but that reacher there, man, that might just ruin all my plans. I'm not calling that, ever. That's such a suicidal move. I'm still gonna try to go for it, because if this actually materializes, this is a huge hand. The only problem is, this 4 is really risky. Uh, I'm just in the ballpark. He also had a ton of bread, so it doesn't look like my hand would have materialized either way. Well, I didn't really need the 5, I needed the 1. I guess it could have still gone through. But it doesn't matter now. Okay, now I have the dealer. Uh, is there anything I can go for quickly here? I don't think so. I'm not sure how much use these are gonna be. I can't really call on them without losing any chance I have of just making my own hand. I'm thinking maybe if I can get blue tiles plus honors. I don't even remember what the hand is called, but it doesn't matter. 
still worth going for. I think that's... Yeah, let's just try going for it. It's a risky play, because I'm entirely dependent on draws and what they discard. Like both one of these are gone. And I'll also be getting rid of a pair. I could maybe just go for Toy Toy instead. Now let's play Adventures. Home. Never know what can happen in this game. There's two of the North Wind. Two of the White. On East. I'll take oh. those. Now, the chances of this actually working out are pretty slim, but sometimes you just gotta go with things, man. I guess it is not a hand I should have tried to go for while I had the dealer. That's kind of stupid, I guess. Yeet. But you never know what could happen. I'm fairly certain I'm not sitting on his winning tiles either. Apart from whatever I draw. But it's so dangerous now that I can't really complete my own hand either, so I'm kind of screwed. I guess I could still try to go for a toy toy here. That's not completely out of the question yet. The problem I see here is that both of these Look really dangerous to the guy across of me. Two Tamburst. And I kinda have to get rid of at least one of them to get into Tempai. Home. Yeah, let's try this. Home. Oh, I was looking at the save towards him, but I wasn't really considering save to my left. So, Jutillion. Well, 2000, that could have been a lot worse again. It's still pretty even so far after four rounds. Anything could still happen. This is just screaming for a pinfu hand again. This is like a good quick pinfu, maybe. Home. Oh, I didn't even notice I have double daughter. Yeet. That. Wow, the second I get a good hand, this happens. My god. I guess I'm going for Tanya now instead. Unless something magically happens with my draws. That kind of played itself. That's really annoying though. That was a really good chance. And now I get this trash. What do I even do with this hand? Well, I guess I got my answer. Either a toy toy or a bunch of pairs. Home. Toy toy it is. Home. Yeah. 
This could actually end up... If we throw away the 4 and 5 as well, this gets more dangerous. Yeah, let's go all in. I could still kept it and then try to go for some kind of hybrid stuff, but that gives me no points. And that's even the Dora. This has potential. Okay, so one green, double west, one west is gone once. And two way east in the beginning. The south is the table wind. Oh dear, that was his first. He was dealer as well last round. That kind of sucks. So one south disappears here as well. No chance. Dealer two most continuous. This could turn a few ways as well. Let's see. Okay. It's a pretty good draw. Finishes up a sequence. If I get a green 9 and a red 7 as well, without calling. Let's not call. Okay, we could get rid of the 4, we could get rid of the 3 as well. Then I'm gonna keep it in case I need 1, 2, 3. Home. 4, no, let's get rid of the 7. I'm not gonna use the 7 anyway. Well, almost certainly. I could draw the 8 and 9 as well. That's a really low chance of happening. Here we get rid of the tree. That's because we could still draw a, uh, a Dora here. We could connect and have a pair. Then we get to throw the 9 and wait on the red 7. Which is the perfect wait here. Drawing my own red 7 would be the best, because then I get to wait on a Dora, uh, red 4 or uh, red 5. So this hand is pretty, actually looking pretty decent this time. But I need a red 7 to uh, make it complete. No, I don't want a 9, I want a 7. Yeah, two red sevens has gone so far. That diminishes my chances even more. But if I can get into Tempai or Ricci, that makes it even more likely that they're going to be thrown out as well. Eat. Okay. I guess I could have waited for a red five or nine instead. But I'm going to pick this weight because this gives more points if it actually wins. But it limits my weight to two red sevens. So while I have while I have one more no one less out I think yes Don't. definitely worth it I've won reverse Dora as well that's pretty good eight thousand 
just what I needed to get back into the game. And this hand looks pretty trash. But we could still make something out of it. This isn't as hopeless as previous hands. And I really like this sequence right here. It could open up to even more uh, connectivity, and it's already all fully connected. Let's screw this tile, we're not gonna call on that. Probably not gonna call on this other under tile either. Almost threw that 9 away, then I realized it was the daughter, so we'll keep it for now. Even though we'll probably end up throwing it away, we could still make something happen with it. Maybe if I pick up another one. That could also give some connectivity. Like the 9 and 7 is the thing sticking out right now for me. Unless I draw a 7, it's not looking too good. There. So I might just have to manually get rid of them. That's a good, good tile. Let's get rid of the tree in five then instead. So well, that might have been a mistake, I might should uh... No, it's not a mistake. I'm thinking of throwing me the 8, considering I already have a pair here and here. I think this is the right play. I'm just wondering how this daughter situation is gonna end up, because one is gone already. It would have been a pretty nice tile to get if I didn't have the call to get it. Because if I call to get it, then it kind of opens my hand and I can't really use anything I have in my hand. That, however, is really good. If I get a 5 now, I can throw away the 4 and almost be in Tempai. I can almost go for Toy Toy as well. Well, now it's just only 1 8 left, so that's really bad. I'm probably going to have to throw these away. At least throw the 9 away, this can still connect with the 5. Still keeping the dream alive for the last- oh no wait, the last one just went. That's stupid. That was a mistake. I guess I gotta get rid of the 7 now. Gee. Still a minor chance of getting you use of the Dora, but it's really small now. And I have my doubts whether this will materialize as well now. So I think I'm not gonna be able to finish this hand no matter what. Throwing out the Dora is also really risky right now. It's only been one, so there's probably well, it's likely there's one guy sitting on two of them. It could be his weight to win the hand, Eat. but... I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. My hand isn't that good. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it either, so... But now that that guy's thrown the Dora, now the Dora is safe. Okay. See if we can maybe get to Tempai in time. No. 
three and six to this is a three. That's weird, I didn't have any of their winning cards. What's worse is I was in so much danger and didn't even realize it. Okay, double Dora. This is a hand we gotta make count. Home. This is... I already have so many tiles for Tanyao, and I have some other tiles here in case I pick up another one. So I think what I'm gonna start out with here is getting rid of the other tiles. Whenever I draw something that can Tanyo. And if I draw an honor tile that connects meanwhile, I'll keep it and try to combo. But it doesn't seem I couldn't get that in time, because I'm drawing good tiles right now. But that means that I could get a really fast Tanyo here. If the right tiles come out from my left or I draw the right tiles. Triple Dora. Home. But now I have to watch out for here for it because he's also going for some kind of quick hand, quick calling hand. Home. Oh, he actually got it while waiting. Seems everyone's rushing in this hand. Almost in tempo I hear. Blue 7 would be nice. That doesn't really do it. Okay, let's take it anyway. Means I need to call on the 7s or the last Dora. Last Dora is really unlikely. So I'm gonna hope the 7s come out. But they might be getting isolated here. Also this 6 here. But this 6 is gonna have to go. Now a green 3 also works here. 3 or 6 of the green. The green 6 gone twice, there's one left. 3 has gone twice, there's 2 left. But it's options. <coughs> of course the 2 and 5 of the red are still viable. And then throw away the 8. Actually I wouldn't throw away the 8, I would throw away... What would I throw away? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 6. Yeah, I would throw away the 7. No, I can't use this one. Wait for 3 or 6. Yes, I do. It looks really safe now. There's one six and two trees. That pause there. I threw it away so fast I wasn't really thinking, but that could be really dangerous as well, I guess. I hope it's not that they've incorporated trees and six that are left in their hands. Nope. No. There we go. That's what I want to see. Didn't see that one coming. Uh, 
I could go for a hand where everything is every sequence and set has an ending tile, but that's like so hard to get. So I'm not gonna go for that. Let's see if I can go for something more standard. If I can get a call on these green ones, then it's just choo choo fall everything and try to get to the finish line in time. Now that this guard of the south there might be really weird, but I don't doubt any of them are gonna throw them out for a long time. This is also a good draw. Furthers my plan of choo choo to the end. Now I just need to pick up something that's not one of these that I can use as a pair. Get rid of that one. Okay, now I'm technically in a wait to win Home. the green 2. But I hope to pair the green 3 or something instead. If I need the red to come out. Well, I can win with green 2 or 5. Yeah, I'll Home. take that. Let's move them rounds long. This is the last round. If I win now, I'll get second. Well, actually, I could get first as well, but then I need to get enough points to overtake here for it. Which could happen, but it's risky business. It depends on how willing I am to risk my second place here. Because I think if I don't deal in, I pretty much guarantee the second place. But you can never be too sure. You never know when some monster hand suddenly appears out of nowhere. But it seems Hereford also wants to end the game quickly. So, as long as he manages to end the game quickly, I should be good. Okay, they're both calling. He has to be waiting on something big then. Otherwise it doesn't make much sense. <coughs> oh, I guess he's just trying to avoid last place, I guess. But he didn't succeed to a few points. I guess I'm happy with second place. I wasn't really doing too well in the beginning of the game, but it was decent towards the end, so good game overall. And let's see if we do one more. If not, then thanks you for watching and turn in again.